Yes, so for pa. We bless God for such a blessed day. I know you are all doing well. I know you are all blessed and highly favored. Let's sing this hymn. And I am Omeda, 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 and Nijeda, and Nijeda, Yerija, Yuma, Yamofra, and Niaje, Nadia Nije Abo, Nadia Nije Abo, Abo, Abo. And let's sing one action song. Father Abraham has many sons, many sons of Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let us praise the Lord. Left foot, right foot, left hand, right hand. Chest up, head up, turn around, sit down. Yes, so. My father and for palm. Yes. Today, let's learn our memory verse, okay? Oh, before that, let's pray. Everybody, the sign of prayer. Holy Spirit, our friend. Teach us today and give us understanding. We thank you for forgiveness of sins. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you that you are with us always. Thank you again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Today's theme is God we assures Jacob. God we assures Jacob. And after learning, every child, my soul, we should all know that God is faithful and he keeps his promises. God is faithful and he keeps his promises. Let's learn today's memory verse. Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. So this memory verse is quite lengthy, okay? So I want everybody to pay attention. One go. Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. Remember, I will be with you and protect you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done all that I have promised you. Genesis chapter 28 verse 15. Amen. God we assures Jacob. Abraham's, Abraham's wife is I am Sarah. Yes. They gave birth to a son called who? Isaac. Isaac married a woman called Rebecca. And they also gave birth to two boys, Esau and Jacob. There were two boys, twins. Yes, Esau is the firstborn and Jacob is the secondborn. Yes, but do you know what happened? Jacob took his brother Esau's blessings. So Esau got so annoyed, so angry to kill his brother Jacob. But do you know what happened again? The mother, that is Rebecca, told his husband, Isaac, that they should let Jacob go and leave their home and go and stay with um, Rebecca's brother. That is Jacob's uncle. His name is Laban. So Jacob had to leave to Haran. That's where his uncle stayed to go and be there for a while until his brother's anger comes down. Okay. So do you know what happened? When he was leaving, his father Isaac blessed him, pronounced um, his father's blessings on him. He blessed him so well. You know that Abraham was a blessing. Okay, God blessed Abraham and Isaac. Okay, so when Jacob was leaving the house, he also blessed Jacob with his, the blessings of his father, Abraham. So he left home. So as he was going to Haran, you know what happened? The sun set and darkness came, so he had to sleep on the way. And when he, he had nothing to sleep on, so he took a stone and he used as a pillow and he slept. When he slept, he had a strange dream. He dreamt that there was a ladder, a long ladder, and the top of the ladder was hanging in heaven, was in heaven, and the bottom of the ladder was on earth. And all that he saw was that angels were moving up and down of the ladder. They were ascending and descending of the ladder. And God was on top of the ladder, so God spoke, and God says that, Jacob, the land in which you are lying on now, I've given that land to you and your descendants. You will be a blessing. So God blessed Jacob too. So the blessings that um, Isaac pronounced on his son, God has reassured, God has confirmed the same blessings. So when Jacob woke up, he says that, mm, God is here with me. So he named the place Gates of Heaven. He says that this dream, so when he woke up, the stone in which he was lying on, he raised the, the stone and he placed it there and he named the place Bethel. So when he was going, he went to his uncle's place. Yes, he went to stay at his uncle's place. Today we have to learn and end here because of time. But what we are learning today is that God is faithful. You know, God blessed Abraham. 
And the same blessings that God pronounced on Abraham, the same blessings that Isaac also pronounced on Jacob. And God reassures the same blessings on Jacob in his dream. God is indeed faithful. Ah, let's clap for Jesus. Good. God reassures the same blessings. Children, what are we learning today? We are learning that all that God has said concerning your life will come true. I know many of you want to become doctors, ministers, pilots, bankers, all that nurses, all that you want to do. Just believe and trust God and God will let it come true, okay? Just believe God that he is faithful and he keeps all his promises, okay? And then the second thing I want us to learn is that you know that Jacob cheated his brother Esau and that he has to leave his own house. All that we are learning today is that children, let's stop cheating. It's not good for us to cheat. If you cheat, that means that you yourself, you are separating yourself from God. And one beautiful thing is that if you ask for forgiveness of sins from God, He comes closer to you. Okay, so anytime you cheat, remember that you ask God for forgiveness of sins because, because of our sins, He had to die on the cross for us, that we will have forgiveness of sins. So anytime you cheat, remember to ask for forgiveness of sins, okay? I know today you are all blessed, okay? We learned that God is faithful and He keeps His promise and we also learned that um, we should not cheat. Anytime you cheat, ask God for, to forgive you of your sins, okay? And for the sign of prayer, Holy Spirit, we thank you. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you that you are also our God. Guide us and all that you have said concerning our lives, let it come true so that we will always give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, until then, see you next week. Bye-bye.